summer time is coming And the trees are sweetly blooming And the white mountain tide Rolls around in the blooming heather well, the bardic tradition is probably one of the oldest art forms that we have. It dates way back to, to medieval times when the bard was a central figure. And then in the 1600s, bards were ostracized and had to go underground. But I think the, 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 the power of the bard remained. And um, every so often, bards would reappear maybe sitting around the fireside and this wonderful energy would re-emerge. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to see the recession. And the recession really has affected me more than nearly anyone else. But I'm sure you've heard the story if the man, and you know these cards you put into the, outside the bank, this man put in his card and it come out and it said on it, insufficient funds. <laughs> he says, I wonder is that me or the bank? <laughs> yes, we live in a world that's gone decidedly queer, where the bin man is now a sanitation engineer. Where if Granny was a gossip of undoubted reputation to be calling her a transmitter of near factual information. <laughs> and and who, who, who would ever think that if you stumble from a bar, you'd be too spatially perplexed even to drive a car? All of a sudden, he came from the men's room. And I felt this fierce fever like I had never before. His face was carved by the hands of an angel. It was the last face I saw as I fell to the floor. <laughs> but as the ambulance weaved through the streets of the city and I wiped tears of mascara from my tear-stained cheeks, despite flashing my drawers at the brothers O'Halpine, I knew that meeting the one meant my missions complete. I promised I'd come back, so you needn't complain. But before tea, I have sex three or four times again. Then says Bridget, will you stop? The whole thing's a disgrace. Come on now, Johnny, and tell me, where on earth is this place? Is it heaven or hell or where did you go? Ah, oh, come on now, Johnny, and tell me, I'm dying to know. Well, I'm not up in heaven, and I'm not down below. But I'll tell ye all now, for I'll soon have to go. I had sex just this morning behind a big bush, for I'm a rabbit on a golf course outside of Port Rush. <laughs> I'm living here in Newry, a northern border town. And since the Euro got so strong, the Southerners travel down. They come in vans and lorries and cars of every shape with boots as big as houses to fill with stuff that's cheap. We watch Anne Doyle on RTE reading the evening news. She says the South's in turmoil and asks George Lee his views. He says Dow Jones has fallen and the footsies through the floor. Wall Street is in chaos with the banks rotten to the core. But the euro's getting stronger against the dollar and the pound. And from Dublin, Cork and Kerry, everyone's northern bound. One is sure you'll recognize one. One is always on TV. Opening things and closing things and waving quite nicely. 
One's been queen for simply ages. One's diamond jubilee is due. But to tell the truth, one's bored to tears with all the ballyhoo. Flying here, driving there, at each one's beck and call. Greeted by boring assholes at every port of call. men and counsellors and rogues who are on the make. One would need to count one's fingers after each handshake. He needs no introduction and you must curtsy to him when he comes on stage this year's Bard. Who else? Jimmy Rafferty! I thought for a minute there I was in for the female award. <laughs> <laughs> It was fantastic. I've um, won a couple of times before, but tonight was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed myself. I really um, had a wonderful time. It's a great audience here. It's a great feeling to be able to make people laugh. And I really enjoy writing funny poems. I really enjoy performing it and so on. I really enjoy performing it here, especially. It's such a fan fantastic audience. All those awful trips abroad strange things one sees and hears. Yet another jolly tribal dance. Huge painted chaps with spears. Young girls with all their wobbly bits bouncing in a ring. One has to watch one's husband. He likes that kind of thing. If my true love she were gone I... And you saw here tonight you know, 12 people who had a thousand others of an audience totally engaged and transfixed in a night of great merriment and enjoyment. 